Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I am Michael Mandel. Isn't that a wonderful title, Americana? Americana. It's, it's not the, Ameri the Americano, but uh, Americana Americano. is perfect for this week. So We're, it's a female drink. Americano is a uh, male drink. Yes, he Americana. called them Amer Americana. So he likes but the female version. This is. Uh, well, we could dress it, you know, up and make it female. The, uh, we'll go either way. We're, we're halfway between uh, uh, D-Day and Father's Day. That's true. D-Day doesn't stand for Dad Day, does it? No, it doesn't, and, but you could because uh, nothing they're but, all our dads. Nothing but dads. Where, dad. Was your dad in? Uh, <laughs> no, he wasn't a D-Day. My dad <laughs> no. was. My dad was in Alaska. <laughs> Did he get lost by some chance? No, you know, the Japanese invaded Alaska, and that's where my dad was. Really? Uh -huh. Wow. That was a little late. Oh no, they were there. Uh, my dad delivered. The, my dad was a skipper in the army. <laughs> really? Was he good at the rocks, throwing rocks? You know the a army. Skipper. The army has more boats than the navy and more planes than the air force. Are you bragging? Just wait. Oh, okay. So we're going to do the Americano. Yes. Which is the uh, halfway between the Torino Milano, which we did last week, which is a combination <laughs> yes. of Campari and some vermouth. This is the vermouth we decided we liked last week, the yes. Noily Pratt. We're, we're slouching our way towards the Negroni. Negroni week is starts the 24th, which we don't have enough drinks to fit in, but we'll do variations. Well, This is not a variation. This is an extension. After the Italians were drinking mix of Campari and uh, uh, sweet vermouth for a long time. Yes. And they even did uh, little changes of it where they make bottle, a bottle called Punti Mess. Mm -hmm. which is a one and a half. So I think it was uh, a full amount of vermouth and half an amount of uh, Campari I see. type thing. And th that was bottled. But when the Americans came, they wanted something more sprightly and bubbling and refreshing. So they decided they'll do uh, Crystal Geyser Sparkling Water. But they didn't call it that in those days. They had those little sparkling. Yeah, those I can't find those old seltzer things. I've got one. You should have told do me. You? I do. Does it really? Oh, okay. You have so to charge it. There's, there's the way that uh, most books say you should make uh, the uh, Americano, uh, which is half Campari and half uh, vermouth. sweet vermouth. A book I got from 1998 just recently says you only use a half ounce of, of uh, sweet vermouth. Uh, okay. You want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. You know how I'm on sweet drinks. Yes. Well, you'll do the sweet, the half. Now we already have Campari. An in ounce here. of Campari, and that's sweet enough. There's like, there's people walking around. I'll do half two. I've never had that. Go ahead. So do that, and the important part to to spritz it up is soda water. Soda water. Look out. This had been opened before. I mean, <laughs> it had been opened. Yeah. Well, it's uh, yeah, active. I in guess there. it really got excited. He just put in enough to make you Come happy. On. Well, this is what you drink when you're in Italy, sitting on the palazzo. Yes. Watching people go by. Watching all the people go by. Making comments. Well, here's cheers. to you. Here's to uh, Negroni Month, as we call it. Yes. Okay, that's refreshing, more or less. Mm. I like it better with the full amount of vermouth. Uh, I'm fine with it. Good for you. Here we go, for me. <laughs> for you. All right, let, let me try some because I... All right. Okay, you want to straight Because I just tried it the other way, just a little bit. Then that's not the other way. That's good. That's Thank a you. I, I give you... No, a, yeah. that's a, okay. Okay. Need some more cubes, I think, don't we? The whole point of this is supposed to... So you look happier. Ah. These cubes in this room melt like crazy. <laughs> Well, we are under under the lights here in Television City. Really? I thought this room always looked like this. All right. Oh, Very good. we have uh, other things going on here. Yes, next week is, is Father's Day. So, um, you know, it's probably not too soon to make your reservations at whatever fine restaurant you'd like to take your father to. On the other hand, our Sun News is encouraging you to eat barbecue and take that out for barbecue. You know, there's a all, number of all three places locations of barbecue: the barbecue in your backyard, yes, and barbecue food, which has some barbecue. meat, meat with uh, sweet sauce. sauce. Sweet sauce. Do you like barbecue? Because you don't like sweet stuff. No, but certain barbecues sauces I like better than others. You know, it, it, it's always got to be a little bit sweet because it's got molasses. Yeah. Or maybe some honey. Doesn't need it. Or some you, brown you sugar. You do like uh, 
balsamic vinegar on your yes. barbecue. But and some some places sweet. like Rudy, they cheat and they do the cheap uh, version where they the cheap lazy version where they put corn syrup in as the sweetener. And so I don't go there for that. They weren't supposed to say corn syrup in the show. No, well, I just said oh it. Oh, my God. I wrote protocol. Anathema. So some people drink corn syrup most of their lives. You know, I am still surprised by the number of people this. drinking soda and uh, all the advertisements uh, with uh, Coca-Cola competing yep. with Pepsi. And uh, people don't know that you should just be drinking water. And other people go to diet drinks. We're just being uh, uh, well, pontificating. High fructose corn syrup is in all is in most soft drinks as the sweetener, right. which is known to give you liver disease, not to mention <laughs> diabetes. And so, and aspartame is the artificial sweetener used, and that's almost as bad. That's uh, is that cancerous? Uh, well, yes, it gives some people migraine headaches. That's why what the only thing we put in our water when we drink uh, Negronis is. Uh, Campari and vermouth. Good. And other drinks. We, most drinks with alcohol, the alcohol kills everything, right? Mm, I used to like my sugar with coffee and cream. Mm. But I quit eating sugar, so now I just... So you don't have anything? I have nothing. No wonder you're so sleepy all the time. Yes, yeah, that's that true, really? I am. No coffee. Hey, you know, we'd like to talk about restaurants here. And, uh, you know, there was news this week that International Delights... Wasn't going out of business. Middle Eastern restaurant. That, yes was or was not going out of business. Now they say, well, their deadline was going to be June 15th or so. But now that they've announced that they're going out of business, now they're not going out of business. This is the toucan uh, effect, yes. which is when people hear you're going out of business and you are a, a institution in town. Because uh, uh, International Delights was one of the first Middle Eastern places after the Middle Eastern oh. place on uh, Locust closed down. Yes, I don't know if there Tiffany a long came before time. that. Well, Tiffany's is Greek. They don't do much Middle yeah. Eastern stuff uh, like International Delights does. Can we, can we do a, a, a little old story about International Delights? What about it? The first time I ever went, yeah. I paid with my credit card. Yes. MasterCard. I get a call four hours later and they say, You have a suspicious call here. This is not your usual buying habits. <laughs> Did you go to a place called International Delights? And I said, <laughs> well, because yeah, you can imagine what they thought it was. A little sex shop. A porno or shop. Or something. Uh -huh. Or a sex shop, I think, international uh. things. And I'm thinking, what kind of sex can you get for six ninety five? dollars With sauce on the side. Yeah. So... Yeah, yeah. I got to admit, I, I really admired uh, uh, City Card after that, <laughs> so that was pretty good. And uh, yeah, so where else can you get a decent falafel? Many places. You can go to Santorini. You oh. can go to. Uh, I went to Santorini. Wants to have a falafel one. They have said, good oh, I'm falafel. sorry, sir. We're all out of falafel. You were there the wrong day. You know, well, people complain please. about aberrations. Everybody's That's got Las their Cruces. bad day. Some There's no consistency in Las Cruces restaurants. So you blame the entire city for one or two aberrations because it doesn't treat you when you want to be treated. No, I, don't. I blame the restaurant when they when they mess up in a way in which they shouldn't. You just you just complain about that. So Las Cruces. You just said because there's no consistency. That's one of the problems with Las Cruces restaurants. Consistency and they can't is do it because there's not enough people coming in and keeping them. No, you can't blame the, the people for them ha not having their act together. And I'm thinking maybe that's why International Delights was going under because there was consistency. Was, oh, you're saying that the new owner perhaps the new uh, owner let it slip. wasn't keeping up, uh, you know, the quality. As the town gets new places, people go and try the new places. And you know, how many times do you go to a restaurant? Uh, once, three times a week. Still, you got to go to, uh, oh. you know, a lot. Yes, and you I You go, how often do you go to a restaurant? How often is it that you went and had a bad falafel? Uh, if, I have, if I have one, I don't go back. Right, but what would have been the last time you went there before you had that bad, no well, they didn't falafel? Have I like got up five out. months, five yeah. months before that? Well, sure. with, with customers like you, who can have a business? <laughs> Uh, well, you know, that's how I am at restaurants. I can't go to every restaurant every day. Yeah, you wait every day. out of the thing you like. Like I would know. Yeah, you probably, they see you coming, and they say, we don't want him coming back, so we're just, yeah. whatever he asked for. When was the last time you went to International Delights? I haven't been there, like, uh, more than five years. I don't think I've been there since uh, this I, year I, at all. Have you? No. 
Right. Oh, well, not at all. I, in the beginning, obviously, I went there so that my credit card could uh, shame me into <laughs> thinking that I have sex acts with falafel. Yeah, well, they used to have a, a grocery store in there where you could buy items. Um, and that spun off. That spun off. Now and it's, it's now on Solano, by the way. Yeah, I don't know where it is. It's, it's on, on Solano. Solano. South Solano. Somewhere near the bookstore, Coe's bookstore, I think. Yeah. yeah just north. But they don't advertise, so nobody really knows where they are. This I, town, you know what they say in this town, and let everybody who advertises beware is, it's so small you don't have to advertise. Everybody knows Everybody knows we exist. Not true. Yeah, but you need to be reminded that they're there because That's why this show is here. That's true. We tell people of new things. That's true, and if they would advertise on this show, then they would never go out of business. That's almost right. And neither would this show. <laughs> we don't have to go out of business. Because we had, spo we What's had our sponsors. Business? What's our business? Our business is telling people the way it is. I thought it was so I could drink in the afternoon <laughs> without feeling any guilt. Who needs guilt? a TV show for that? Oh, I see. I do. Well, you're guilt-ridden. Yes. You know, I don't have that problem. Luckily. I know. You're, you're so anti-religious. Uh, guilt has nothing to do with religion. Unless no, you wanted to. <laughs> and apparently you guilt do. Guilt does. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is irrigation season. The water was released last night. Oh you know, my God! We had floods I in live, this area. I we live look like in a Idaho neighborhood that has Iowa. irrigation. All my all the houses around us have irrigation. We have our own little irrigation canal that goes on two sides of my property. And the water came down last night, and so flowed into your backyard. And no, it didn't. They what got it just right. The hydrology was correct. Did it keep the mosquitoes alive? And it didn't overflow. But now we will have mosquitoes because the uh, orchards. I have orchards in my neighborhood. They will be flooded now, and that will attract mosquitoes. They will spawn in there. And so it's now mosquito season. But you're lucky because, you know, that happens every year. And they're consistent. And you like consistency. <laughs> yeah. You just said you like restaurants to be consistent, so your mosquitoes are now consistently feeding on you. That's one consistency I can do without. <laughs> oh, you're such a just the one. pile of conflicts. And so... Uh, so that means that the, the large canals are full of water. Be careful. Keep the kids away from those. People drown every year in the irrigation ditches. Yeah. But you can fish for, what, crawdads or something? You, what do you do, put a hot dog on a... You know, isn't that so? You grew up here. I'll tell you how to did do you, it. Did you fish for crawdads? The way to fish for a crawdad, you take a, a green tumbleweed and you a put it in there. green tumbleweed? Yeah, and the crawdads grab onto the tumbleweed. That's pull, it? Pull it out and there they are. Yeah. That's... Sounds like a great they cheap way to do it. They don't want uh, Vienna sausage. <laughs> they don't want, do they like the turkey stuff or the chicken I, sausage? You don't know. No, tumbleweed. The grab on right, the tumbleweed. Maybe tumbleweed's a great uh, hook. I'll do that because I have nothing for dinner tonight. So. Well, get some mud bugs and you'll be eating high on the mm -hmm. home. Pretty good. Yeah. Good flavor. You just crumble up the tumbleweed for flavoring. Then tumbleweed you, spice. And you got your... Uh, your Garnish. And your fat fiber. Mm. It's w wonderful. Now, you know... Hey, um, do I see a raft going down there? Was there a raft in that uh, irrigation ditch? Is that where the raft is? No, but Rafterio is coming up it June is. 15th. If you don't have your raft built yet, you might want to start designing it and getting it ready. That's the June 15th on Saturday. You want to do a raft, don't you? Yeah, I would love to. Debbie Levy volunteered to do it with you. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Well, she didn't volunteer to do it with you, but she volunteered if, if the show would do it. She oh. would help us. Does she have uh, the inner tubes and stuff, or what? It's not nice to talk about people like that. No, Michael. Uh, I, I would love to do a raft with her. We'll, we'll hang on how a, did you make a your, double talk side off the side How did you make your last raft? Didn't you I do got, one? I got four inner tubes. I put a piece of... Four inner tubes. Four of them. <laughs> and I put a piece, big piece of plywood on top as a, as a deck. And I stood on it and all went boing. And I fell in the water. I can't I, believe that's... Something so stable as four inner tubes bouncing on the Rio Grande. It was not with stable you in at the all. middle. Why did you stand on it? Why didn't you just sit down? Tom Sawyer, who was a small yes. child, was able to raft down the mighty Mississippi with Jim. Yes, but uh, to keep him balanced. But you couldn't go down the flaccid uh, Rio Grande with four inner tubes. They didn't even have inner tubes in Tom Sawyer's That's day. That's true. He was made of, he, he was made they of logs. Would. And yeah, stuff. yeah, logs. Right. So. Yeah, so engineering a raft is harder than, than you might think. And so We're going to take a break and go engineer our raft. Is that a euphemism for something? So the, the, the river is full of water. I'm going to go engineer my raft. Yeah. The, the river is full of water, so yeah. are the uh, irrigation canals. So let's take a break, and uh, when we come back, we'll talk get about, back on the river. We'll talk about Mexican tariffs. We will. Yes, we'll see. Uh, Cheers. Which is right across the river.
Call Mark Goldstein, the safe money guy, at 575-556-2472, to learn about innovative strategies now available to help you grow, protect, and preserve your money and financial future, regardless of market conditions. Hi, welcome to Okazuri. It's our happy hour sushi fest. We placed our top sushi rolls on special from four to six dollars. And our ice cold draft beer is only two fifty. Have a California roll, banderito roll. Sit at the floating sushi bar and the kids eat for only two dollars. From two to five, Monday through Thursday, located on University in the Pan Am Plaza. It's our happy hour sushi fest. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Come to Tacos El Borrego de Oro in Las Cruces. We are celebrating $1 Taco Tuesdays. Come enjoy authentic Mexican food for the whole family. Bring the family to Tacos El Borrego for $1 Taco Tuesday and Flauta Thursday. There you go. So great. You can do all these different things. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice. Hey. <laughs> oh, guys. Not all. place tonight and we're back this is double talk i'm mark stefan oh i'm michael mandel pouring our <clears> next <throat> drink which is going to be of course a variation on the americano yes we're celebrating negroni month and we're last week we started the evolution of the negroni process tell them the evolution in your own words and Mikey. we're continuing it today with the americano which is campari half campari and half sweet vermouth and we're going to add we, well, we a third actually, ingredient. The, the true way to do it is by adding uh, soda water, sparkling water. We're going to try this uh, concoction. Here we go. Here's, where's the camera? Sip. It's called Sip. You can get it. You don't have to get it at TJ Maxx. Uh, they have different flavors. This one is a grapefruit, honey, and rosemary flavor. You can also get this at... Uh, at uh, Target, which is a grapefruit. Q makes tonic water. This is a grapefruit uh, sparkling water, but this should be about. We the same. may get to that before we're done. Who knows? Yeah, we'll just drink it straight. Okay, we can drink it straight. So it's going to just give this a. We'll see. I've never tried this, so that's that's part of what this show is all about. We yeah. are trying new variations on cocktails. How else will you learn? Now, these are cocktail light. Yeah, because drinks. there's, yeah, they're light cocktails there's because no they have spring. No, yeah. Well, there is alcohol. Campari has 24%, I right. think. But we're not putting gin in like you normally would. Yeah, we're keeping we're the high money. booze, the 40% booze out. But for the summer, that's what you want to do, in a way. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay, the word you wasn't aimed at you. It depends what the word it you It was means. aimed at other yous. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. It's pleasant, but... It, it doesn't add anything, it's really. It's sweet. It's more sweet than I care to have a drink on a regular basis. You're just a bitter guy. No, no. Yeah. Now, to have this today, fine. Mm. It's fine. I like it, but I wouldn't want to it have It is because it's hot in here. On a daily basis. No, I do like a gin kick. I do, and with less sweet. You know, last week, 
after the show, uh, since we were just doing Campari and Sweet Vermouth, for some reason we needed a drink afterwards. <laughs> so we went down to the Amador Hotel, because we're hoping that the 575... Not the hotel. Not the, it's the called Amador. the Amador Hotel, but it's a restaurant. The Amador Restaurant Bar. It used to be the hotel. Bar and Grill. And uh, we want to go to 575, which is the high-end uh, drink place. Yes. But it didn't open until later, so we had to do what we could at the Amador. At the Amador. And, uh, now that, you know, that time we were there, the, the bartender really didn't know what she was doing, unlike the previous bartender. The previous bartender was great. Stuff. She was great. So this one's learning. This one's learning. She really didn't, didn't know what's going on. So Mark had their regular uh, margarita. I had the margarita, the house margarita. And uh, I decided we didn't have any gin, so I picked one of the more interesting gins, which is a gunpowder gin. Yes. It's from Ireland. It's made with gunpowder tea flavoring. Yes, tea. And uh, so straight up, pretty much with a Cointreau uh, rinse. Uh -huh. It was re really good. Was I noticed, good. well, their house margarita, they put in a triple sec, and I asked, to, I asked to have Cointreau instead of a triple sec. But she couldn't find it, right? No, she did. Oh. Because okay. uh, I, you know, I really don't care much for triple sec. Too no, sweet. because it's uh, corn syrup in it. Yeah, it's, it's corn starch. Yeah. It's That's it's fake. the cheapest of the sweeteners for margaritas. Mm. Except uh, sugar. Oh, no. So, somebody called me to ask me. We're having friends over. What? Uh, how should we do our margaritas? I said, Well, do you like your friends? <laughs> yeah. and they said yes. I said, Well, don't use triple sec. Friends no. don't use triple sec on friends. Yes. Now you know tequila comes from Mexico. Really? It does because that's where they make it. And we may be having to pay more for our tequila soon because um, Trump is initiating tariffs on everything coming over from Mexico. As we speak, they are, they are deliberating. Each month it's gonna go up until till it's up to 25% tariff, which is basically a tax on everything we buy from Mexico. It's funny how the things that he's doing is hurting America. Yeah, it it's also Mexico, hurting, not day. only is it hurting us, the people who are buying things, like things from China, and things from Mexico, but it's also hurting our stature in the world yeah. as a trading nation. It is. And uh, it, Let, it's breaking down everything that we've tried for, which is good relationships with our friendly n nations. The non-friendly nations, which were Russia, North Korea, but, we're making great strides becoming friends with yes, Trump likes, uh, loves Russia and tenders. North Korea, because North Korea mm -hmm. has all the products we're looking for. <laughs> Yeah, now, you know, China, we have those tariffs on China, which is why now uh, washing machines cost $100 more uh, if, if they're made in China. And everything else from China now costs a great deal more because of the tariff. It doesn't cost China, it doesn't cost them anything. No. We pay. Well, Trump thinks that people aren't going to buy from China, but by the time we can rig up factories that could re can make uh, washing machines, yeah. our economy will be dead. You know, Apple computers are made in China. Those are going to go up. Apple watches. Uh, Non-Apple watches. Um, Pair watches, orange watches, all kinds. Yeah, I mean, Dell, Dell computers, everything's made in, in uh, China. And they have, and also knockoff watches. <laughs> they do great knockoffs. Yes. Uh, they die, but they're great knockoffs. Uh, relax watches. <laughs> yes, yeah. relax. The relax, genuine. Mm. So that's going on. Um, so things. So we'll see Monday so what cars, happens. There are cars down there. They're, those prices will be going up soon. Mexico is one of our biggest trading uh, partners. Yeah, the way right. a country makes money is by trading. That's right. And by not trading, we're not doing anything. It's sort of when you do something by yourself. What's it called? Isolationism. Oh, uh, it's talking about sex. But oh, anyway. Uh, well, we won't. No, we won't talk well, about you know, that. You know about that, of course. Uh, I've read about that. Oh, you read. I used to read. Now, now you just look at the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I buy it for. So, yes, that's our, is that our political center of the of the TV show here? That's our political center. We're not going to talk about politics yeah. anymore. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You're done? Okay. That's why we do it in the center of the show and then we move on. Yes. What's that? Metal Ashy. <laughs> metal Ashy is coming to the Rio Grande Theater. Which is uh, heavy Friday. metal. Friday. Yeah. It's, met, it's metal and mariachi combined. Oh, my God. It's a metal Ashy. That's right. It sounds worse than this drink. It's only $15 at the Rio Grande Theater next Friday from 7 to 10. I, it sounds interesting to me. I'd try to see it for free, in this case I don't like it. But. Tell them you're, uh, you know, media. You wear your media badge. I'll say badge. I'm Michael Mandel, they'll let me in right away. That's true. I'm good friends with whoever doesn't work there anymore. <laughs>
We don't know who's working that. Yeah, thing. so Metalachi's coming up at the Rio Grande Theater this coming Friday. We have to mention it this week because next week's show will air on it's Saturday. after it's uh, this thing. <clears throat> so, okay, we movies have in the movies park. in the park are coming up uh, tomorrow night, Saturday. They're showing, that's over at the um, yeah, Young Park. <laughs> They're showing Ralph Breaks the Internet. Right, you could, I guess one of the good things about going to the park is you could sit around and eat your dinner as a picnic. It's yes, fun. that's right. And is there, is the there mu music in the park too? Is Sunday? That's Sunday. And uh, well, there's no water in the lake, so there shouldn't be too many mosquitoes. Uh, this this uh, this week, music in the park on Sunday is the mix. Is one band, and the other band is Ziggy Lova from El Paso. They seem like variations on like the Fix or Ziggy Stardust. <laughs> Are they like uh, they do the same stuff? We, I, no, well, Ziggy and those guys, they are um, R and B and pop and rap. R and B and rap. And the mix is top forty. Well, it's a good mix. That's right. Well, a mix is That's top forty, isn't what the mix is. Yeah. Now, there's also a play going on this weekend over the Las Cruces Community Theater, and it is the Florence it's called Foster, Florence, which the is the true story of Florence Foster Jenkins, the worst singer in the world. And there was a movie about it. Meryl Streep. It was, it was supposed to be great. I didn't see that movie. I, I didn't see I it. But so. the, the play is but much the play should be really from funny. the movie. And that, that opens this weekend. We, ha we have some good actors. I don't know if any of the actors that were in the uh, Young Frankenstein are going to be in there because no. it seemed to have been a Lenny, split. Uh, she Lenny ran Brown's a, in there. She has the lead. She's in this. And I, I must say, Young Frankenstein was a wonderful show. You saw it, right? Yes, I did. It was quite good. It was amazingly was, good. It was only on for a hidden weekend. Yeah, four shows only. And, uh, and, and congratulations that was great. to them. Yeah. Now, now Dr. John died. We have to mention One of my passing. favorites. He, Boy, he he's was a great for singer. A long time. Mac Mac He had a great from New voice. He, you know, say. he used to play such bad in the early days. He, he was on on stage. Playing his guitar, and he got shot on stage. That's how bad he was. <laughs> no, no, that's how bad the place was that he was oh, playing in. That's good. That's give him. It gives him cred, you know, yeah. in the hood. Also, a Who's local this guy, a local guy, Jack Pumphrey died. You used to see him a lot downtown at the farmers market. He was a local artist and illustrator. God, I saw him around for years. Really? He died this week. Yeah. Didn't know him. Did you know him? I met him a couple times. Oh. I didn't know him though. Okay, local people. Can you really ever know somebody? Do you ever want yeah, to? I think I know you. Do you want to? And then all of a sudden, I come up with a drink that you suck, that you think sucks, right? <laughs> and I give it to you, thinking you'll like it. Yeah, you give it to me because you a think you know me. A sweet drink. I know I don't know you, <laughs> but I'm not digging into it. <laughs> anyway, I think he said the show's over. Is the show over? We don't know. Oh, the show's over. So, so if you're still watching, you made a mistake. That that's never stopped you from talking. Has no, it? no, we keep going. No. At, actually, after one or two drinks, we don't stop talking. No, and we, we have great after-show parties. This is not come our only join show. Us. This show ends, but we continue with our other show. And we give the audience free things. Look under your seats, people. And if there's any schmutz there, take it out with you, okay? It's not my schmutz. It's not your schmutz. I didn't leave schmutz around. Oh. I'm not schmutz. <laughs>